Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, then welcome here for the very first time. I am Carmen. Today we are watching season four, episode six of The Expanse. After the way the last episode ended, I wanted to watch this one like right freaking away, but I could not. Now I can though, and I am ready for whatever the hell that explosion was. I am ready for what is gonna happen with Holden and Amos at the camp. I am ready for Naomi and Lucia and Christian and Bobby and all of it. I'm ready for all of it. So I'm not gonna ramble at you too much. We know where we were. We know what happened. Let's see what happens now. What is it? Oh, damn, Alan's just gone. Look oh. at the radiation profile. It's like a reactor failure. Yeah, for a gigantic reactor. Yeah, for one of those thingies, maybe. I think there might be some kind of massive fusion reactor underneath it. The whole damn thing just blew. Okay, that's bad. Very yeah. bad. The first thing you're gonna feel is a seismic quake from the explosion. There's a shockwave coming around the planet at the speed of sound, with a tsunami behind it. Fuck me. How long what? do we have? The shockwave will hit in eight to 10 hours. With winds of around 200 kilometers per hour. The tsunami will be there roughly 10 hours after that. The settlement is gonna get wiped clean off the map. I'll call you right back. Uh, yeah, could you, yeah. So, okay. We need to, like, evacuate. Listen to me. Listen to me. Amos? Cass got something important to say. I love how. <laughs> we have an emergency. Yeah. Hold it. You brought this on us. Yeah. This is your fault. Look. None of this is useful. We right almost now. died coming out here. This was our chance to make a home. I fucking get it. But the only thing we can do now is leave before more people die. Then will you support our claim? Tell your friend, the Secretary General, that we have the right to be here. If you do that and pledge to help our colony, then we'll agree to leave. Ooh. I can't speak for Abbas Rawala or Earth. But I give you my word. I'll do everything I can. He's a good I need to tell you some things about what your mother has done. Ooh, it I... be easy to hear. <gasps> Wait, why was she rubbing her eye? Girl, why are you rubbing your eye? The other lady had something in her eye. Oh, I'll see. Okay. Tracked her down. She's on the bar. <laughs> Can I talk to her? Of course. <laughs> Oh. Girl, open up a channel to mm. Felsia Maze. Mm, on the Barbara Piccolo. No. Mm. Yes, my right. Are you all? Papa told me what you did. All those people who died on that shuttle. Mm. Hey, Naomi. What's going on? Reactor's down. Uh, them jail? Your items are there and waiting, as agreed. Hey, answer. You're breaking my wrist. Yes, that is the intent. Unless you'd prefer to leave. Bobby. They charged him with it and to be fair he tried to blackmail her so like eh. but like he obviously he didn't kill anybody so you're gonna be ready to go worried about me only if i have to be we're doing a shit ton easier if we had the heavy shuttle but we'll make it hey thanks for giving a shit they're kind of cute i don't know if i like fully ship it but like it's tight. getting you all off the ground is only half the problem the Baba Piccola is too low. And it's not rated for atmosphere. First things first. So sooner or later, the Bob will fall. And burn. Dorosi's batteries will last longer, but eventually. We all will. This is a not good situation. I don't intend to have any of the batteries on my shuttle. However, I am willing to help get them up safely and back down again, provided they dump all the illegally mined lithium on their ship. It's not. 
This guy is the biggest Their ship is going down any fucking fight. asshole. You to yourself. We might find a way to fix the reactors. You're not saving them. You're just killing them slower. Well, they can't stay on the surface. Why is this guy such a fucking asshole? Like, I can understand him to a point, but like now he's just being fucking petty. This is stressing me out, yeah. So the shuttle is gone. It's it's dead. Is there a problem with the shuttle? Yeah, it's just lost contact with the chief. It dis Stand by. it gone. It gone. They think it might be melting. Nothing else leaves the ship until you hear otherwise from me. They're not getting off this planet, are they? Plan C sounds like everybody dies. Yeah. We'll go to the ruins. Those structures have been here for over a billion years. If anything can survive what's coming, it's that. There's no way in. I've been inside. What? There was no entrance. There is I've now. I inside my head, opened a door, and then closed it again. We don't have a lot of time. Well, we'll figure it out fast. So start doing it now, yeah. You don't have a choice. Like, what? what is your choice here, okay? Like, if you stay in this town, like Amos said, you're just going to die. Like, that's kind of the only choice for there. Do you know who was behind the attack? Marco Inaros, a terrorist. He will be killed. Next time we'll meet on the Tripoli so I can return the hospitality. By order of UNN Fleet Command, we will be remaining inside the ring space to help secure it from any further incidents that are beyond your ability to control. Well, 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 we don't need a babysitter. Those are not the conditions of the armistice. The OPA yeah. violated those conditions first. Fucking UNN just asserting their dominance as always. Fucking assholes. Nice view. All right, creep. Don't look at my girl. Shoo shoo. Bobby! Girl! I gotta say, I feel kind of used. I can assure you, you were. <laughs> oh, is she like, she's into him. Weird. If you'd like me to beat the shit out of you again, keep it up. Yeah, hun, if you don't remember, you lost that first fight. Go, 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 Sorry. Mallory, you want to open the door? Is something looking back out at him? It's going to take a few weeks minimum for a relief ship to get here, maybe months. The difference between us all starving to death and some of us surviving may be how many mouths we're trying to feed. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of belters. It comes down to them or us. It's us. If that's the case, I'll do what needs to be done. Girl, don't listen to Myrtle over here, okay? okay all She's got the thing in her yeah, yeah, <sighs> I'm stressing. I'm stressing. I mean, there's a lot to stress about, but like, what the fuck is in her eye, okay? Stop rubbing your eye. Oh, see? See? What is that? What is that? What is it? That's not good. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh no, 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 no. Don't you do this. And I'm not doing this, you guys. That's his little daughter. She's so cute. How old was she? Was she a little baby? What's the problem? His access on the whole new security protocol. Codes aren't working. Fuck. The hydraulics that operate this door run through the base of the terraforming tower. I'll go out up and down the tower, cut the hydraulics, release the door, and let you all in. Boom. Are you sure it's safe down there? Nope. What was that for? Because she likes you. The whims. Oh, Jesus Christ. fuck. <gasps> okay, now we need to hurry our fucking asses up and go to the little thingy, Mer Bobby thingy, okay? 
I should be down there with you. It you makes can't you feel be. better that you're not. Same to you, Alex. Oh, uh, it was understood. <laughs> I'm not planning to die down here. You better fucking not. Good. Is that her oxygen? Fingerprints don't matter anymore. There's a guy inside who's locked me out. He's calling for help. I'm out of there. Excuse me? Okay, okay. She's fine. Her helmet is off. That means she was rescued. Alright, let's make some money. But didn't that guys see her face oh that kid's rubbing his eye too that kid was rubbing his eye too what the uh, oh here comes the water oh here comes the water hold on hun you're down there aren't you hold on <laughs> get down get down get down get down get down what are you looking at what are you looking at yeah why is like five people pulling can we have more people? <gasps> Hold in. Hold in, what are you doing? Hold in, what are you doing? Please don't do this. Oh my god, Hold in. Hold in, what are you doing? No, you're gonna be outside though. What are you doing? No! Oh my god. Okay, one, I do not appreciate them fucking scaring me like that, okay? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is obviously going to have to be the end. Holden stressing me. <sighs> he was stressing me out, okay? Like when he got out and started pulling that thing, I was like, is he trying to fucking sacrifice himself, this little self-sacrificial bitch, you know? <laughs> I love him. I love him so much and I love how much he cares about people, but I, <sighs> he was stressing me out because he had said to Naomi earlier, like I don't plan to die on this planet and it was it was very stressful i'm glad that he waited until it was like up a little and then jumped in of course now there's a bunch of water coming like i feel like would the force of the water itself not have like shoved it shut you know i don't know what's gonna happen okay because it's not like a tsunami is going to come and then the water is going to recede and then it's going to be fine, at least not right away. I feel like the water is going to stay up. So how much water is going to leak onto them? Is there anywhere else that they can go? Like these things look quite big. There's probably other sections that they could access if they are down there long enough. Presumably, I don't know, maybe Miller's around somewhere and could say something that would be helpful. Again, I don't know, but yeah, I'm very interested in what they're all gonna do now that they're down here in this area together. Obviously, Murtry is planning, you know, murder because he's a fucking asshole. Like, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt because when they showed that these people had, you know, he was right, essentially, and in a way, that they had tried to kill them and then there was a subsection of the belters that were still actively trying to kill them and you get rid of that subsection i understand you enact revenge you do whatever the fuck he did and now all of the belters who took part in the blowing up the landing landing pad to i cannot talk sorry you guys blowing up the landing pad so that they couldn't land 
all of those belters are now either well one's on the Rosinante of course she saved as many people as she could but they don't know that and what the fuck am I trying to say I'm sorry you guys my point is <laughs> I can understand him wanting revenge on those particular belters, but now he is content to just straight up murder innocent belters who had nothing to do with that. And you know, asshole. I, I understand the us or them mentality, but when it's presented in the way that he presented it, it's not like a last resort. I don't think he meant it as a last resort. He just wants to murder people because I don't think he's a good person. That's how I'm taking it. Could be wrong, but don't think I am. We also in this episode had Amos and his girl, whose name I still do not know, <laughs> being kind of cute and like they actually kissed in front of people. They're not trying to hide whatever sort of relationship they formed together. It's not a traditional relationship in the way that like Naomi and Holden is, but it's their kind of version of a relationship, some sort of version of a relationship. Again, I, I don't think there's any labels on it for either one of them, but it's kind of cute. Like I could ship it. I'm not overly attached to it, but I think it's cute to see Holden interact with this woman and just to see him kind of like care about her and want to protect her and for her to care about him and kind of want to protect him as well. You know, it's cute. I don't think that it's like, oh, I want this to be end game for me personally, at least not yet, but it's, it's cute while it's lasting right now. Speaking of romance on this show, which like I think I mentioned in the last post episode discussion or the post episode discussion before that seems to be more prevalent this season than it has been in the past, which is sort of interesting. We also had Bobby getting her groove on, having a little fun with that guy, and I'm all for it. Again, I just, I worry if we can trust him, but for now he seems, he seems fine. Yeah, I don't know why I feel like, he, I feel like because everything around Bobby is so sketchy right now that it makes him feel sketchy too, even though I don't think that he is sketchy. I feel like I'm just being paranoid because everything else surrounding her is like I said so sketchy right now but yeah I'm happy for her having a little fun good on her I am not super happy that she seems to kind of be enjoying what she's doing which is you know criminal but I think that she's enjoying that she's actually getting to put her skills and her her talents to work again whereas when she was working in the shipyard just de assembling, disassembling, can I talk? Disassembling stuff. I don't think that her, her talents were really being used. Everything that she was taught was kind of going to waste. And I don't think that that's obviously fulfilling for her or somebody who has the skill set that she has. So I think that she finds that aspect of it exciting and fun. And uh, it stresses me out a little or a lot, but you know, we're just gonna have to see where it goes. I, I'm not loving it. I, like that guy saw her face too though, right? So are they gonna pay him to be quiet about that? Like what, what's gonna happen there? Overall, I'm just a little bit worried about where Bobby's story is going because she just like, mm, I'm just, I'm just worried about where her story is going. That's all. <laughs> to go back to Holden and Illis for a second, we also have them kind of stuck on this planet, right? Naomi, Alex, Lucia, and like, what is it, the Edward Israel, like all these other ships are stuck kind of in orbit and their reactors don't work. The the way they presented it was the laws of physics have now changed again and so they don't know how they're going to be able to get their reactors to work because essentially the protomolecule they think or something like it shut down everything on the planet after the one reactor blew. That's not great because even if they get off of the planet like where are they gonna, they can't go anywhere. Also, if like rescue ships come, 
will that then happen to them as well? Like when people came into the ring space, like is it just going to always happen to a ship that's coming there? Also, probably the biggest deal in this episode, I mean, maybe not, but like, okay. We saw the eye thing in like the last episode, that's a, the episode before, and now we saw Akoya, I think is her name, rubbing her eye and then she looked and there was green stuff inside of it and now this kid is rubbing his eye and that lady was rubbing her eye and like what the fuck is this green stuff okay proto molecule is blue at least what we know of it so is this something else and if so what the fuck is it is it like what the, hmm. what is it what is it what is it what is it <laughs> Is it dangerous? Like, I, I don't trust it after Proto Molecule, you know? I, I, I'm a little stressed about it, you guys. Just a little, just a little, you know? An average, normal, normal amount of stressed about it. But yeah, I am stressed about it. Like, could it be the race that killed the Proto Molecule, that destroyed the Proto Molecule? How many other races of alien life form are out there? Like, my cats are going crazy upstairs. I'm sure you hear it. But like, what, 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 what is it? <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? Miller, where you at? Where you at? Help a girl out. Help a boy out. Help Holden out. You know, like, where you at? <sighs> Alright, you guys. So I think that that is all that I really have to say about this episode. Uh, am I gonna watch the next one right now? Maybe you'll have to see what I'm wearing in the next video and see if I watched it right now or not. As always, please let me know what you thought in the comments down below with no spoilers. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys!